Has it begun? Are we live? Are we recording, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> well, greetings. It is I, your one and only host, the Cosmic Jedi. Welcome back to my channel. Mm. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Happy day to you. Monday, Monday. I don't know what day I'm going to finally upload this video. So I don't want to, I don't want to record on a Monday and say happy Monday and it's Thursday when I finally upload the video. I've been very busy. You see, I trust you are all doing well. How's your body? How's your mind? How's your spirit? How is your soul? You beautiful, beautiful, magnificent human beings. We have another trailer to, well, first blooper of the day. We have another trailer reaction to do. It is the Meg, Megalodon, the second movie of Meg. What's it called again? Meg, Meg, the sequel with Jason Statham. And um, for those of you who might have noticed, the background is a little different today. I thought I'll change it up with a little green screen. Working on my green screen magic, gotta get better at that, you see? The mind mixing things up in my background. I, I do love the black background. It's just, there's something about it that's just nice because you just focus on me and then whatever content I have around my visage. But today I thought, let me do a little, a little something different. Spice it up a little bit, yes? Yes, now let's proceed with the trailer reaction. God damn. God damn, okay. Didn't even let the dude digest his stuff. One species. Rule the world. Is everyone just hungry at the same time? God damn! That was cold. Jonas, we need your help. Again? We're detecting increased aquatic activity 25,000 feet deep in the trench. It's an ancient ecosystem untouched by man. Whatever is down there is trying to make its way to the surface. And he got exosuits as well? This was a bad idea. Just a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's 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 treading. Wusa! Jonas? We've got company. That's the biggest man I've ever seen. I better moonwalk out of there real quick. So this one is bigger than the first one then? Mm. No shit, Sherlock. Mm. Oopsa. Three massive mags and who knows what else have escaped the breach. I just hope it goes better than last time. Uh-oh. Whoop. Come on, dude. You don't want to know. The same thing. I saw you go, go, go. We never seen this before. They hunted it back. Oh, Lord. This place, mag proof. Why are you doing this? God damn. <laughs> Octopus now? Octopus, whatever. Come on, guys. Is he surfing on his back? That was a wave. Trench. Nice. Yeah, what I was saying, it feels like it's it's treading upon the um, Pacific Rim thing, where there's like there's a breach or there's a undiscovered Pacific Rim was nice because the, the breach thing just worked and. You know, it's like one of those movies where you don't want to scratch your brain too much or scratch your head too much. You know what it's about. Go in. Same thing as Fast and Furious. Not many people like those kind of movies these days. They didn't mind the first two or three, I assume. Some some people just loved the first one and that was it. But I've come to enjoy all of them. I prefer the more recent ones than the original ones, to be honest. I like what they've done with it. It's just fun stuff. Unbelievable action sequences. You could say the same thing with Bond, Mission Impossible. Some people can really break down those movies and say, mm, some of them were not really believable. And I'm surprised Bond hasn't died yet. Or some people would argue too very well that um, Mr. John John Wick hasn't died yet in four movies. So 
you know, it's one of those things where it's, if this is kind, if this is your kind of movie, you'll see it. If it's not, you definitely um, avoid it. But I'm definitely going to see it. The first one was cool, but this one is definitely not. They're saying the there's more creatures coming out of the, the rift. Definitely, it's feeling like you're talking about ecosystem. I mean, I I get it with the sense of um, there are certain things we as a collective uh, uh, species on the planet don't know about the planet itself yet, let alone uh, all the animals. Shoot, I could. I can even make an assumption that there's no one human being is, uh, alive today that's tasted every fruit on the planet, not one. So, and that's just standard fruit, let alone knowing and, and archiving or cataloging every creature um, in, in, I mean, on the planet. So I can just about buy the, the things down there that we don't know about yet. Definitely going to see this over that nonsense, stupid, pathetic um, excuse for a movie Transformers Rise of the Beast Wars or Beasts bashment breakdancing studio music edition whatever it's called i don't care i'm not going to see that one i'd rather see this one than transformers for sure i have no expectations at all i'm not watching it thinking oh well this is um scientifically in inaccurate or or it's not historically accurate with with what we know with history today of prehistoric animals and blah 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 so let me know if you're gonna you're gonna see this one have you seen the first one and what movies are you all looking forward to and then again that's another video for another day isn't it that's going to require a list what movies are you looking forward to i could do two what movies are you looking forward to seeing this year? And what movies are you not looking forward to? No, what movies are you not going to see this year? Yeah, could do two separate videos. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have been your one and only host, The Cosmic Jedi, signing out. Mm -hmm.